This video is brought to you by Squarespace, allowing you to create your own beautiful website and online shop. So let's do it. Hi guys, well today I'm going to build these designer wall cube shelves with LEDs. This is a great example of how you can integrate LED lighting strips into your project and I can't wait to share it with you guys because I really like the way it came out. Now if you enjoyed this video please share it and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more project videos. But now let's get into the build shall we? <music> I'm going to be using big leaf maple here. Basically I'm creating boxes, so of course you could use any wood that you have on hand. I'm going with mitered corners because that looks nice and clean. I cut a few too large, so trimming a little, and I always find it helpful to clamp down the wood when you cut miters out of hardwood, because otherwise it can sometimes push it a little and get the size just a touch off, which you can really tell on mitered corners, so. Next up is using the router. I'm writing out grooves for LED strips to fit inside. So here are my pieces and I've got wood cut and grooved for three differently sized boxes. To glue them up I'm using masking tape to get the pieces lined up and then just folding it up like a package. <laughs> And the masking tape acts as a clamp. And then I just had to repeat two more times. So imagine open boxes, like without a lid. That's what these are. So now I need to create some backs. I've got some thin pieces of the same maple and I'm just roughly seeing the size here. Doing a little planing to get the edges smooth for a glue up and then just roughly cut into size. Once I had the pieces cut up for the three backs, I glued them up. To fit the backs onto the boxes, I simply glued those on as well. And I have a piece of scrap wood on the other side here, so I can clamp it up properly. <laughs> Now here's a piece of MDF that I'm painting white. The idea is to attach the boxes to this board, so this will be the backing. I wanted to dress the boxes up a little bit, so here are some corner brackets and screws which I'm attaching to the scrap board. And that's because I want to spray paint these with some oil rubbed bronze paint. That way they stay straight up. Now, where should I place these on the board? They're all differently sized, so I want them a little off-center, not too symmetrical. And uh, once I had that determined, I simply screwed them to the board. Then here I've got some white LED strips, and these will fit inside each groove. I'm soldering on some lines on each strip, and now they're ready to attach to the boxes. So I'm drilling a hole in the corner of each box and feeding the lines through there. And they're coming out on the back. Then I'm simply removing the protective backing on the LEDs and pushing the strips into the groove. And I found it that it was really helpful to use uh, the rubber part of a pencil to push it in in between the lights to secure it better. This went pretty smoothly, so all the boxes have LEDs all around them and then lines from each strip are coming out on the back side. To control the lights, I have a small switch here, which I'm attaching on the corner on the board. At this point, I realized I needed to attach the brackets, so screwing those in. And I really love the oil rubbed bronze finish. I think it uh, contrasts nicely with the maple. Okay, so all the boxes are back on the board and now I'm working with the back. So I'm connecting all the red lines and all the black lines together. Running the red through the switch and the black straight to the power. To secure the switch I used hot glue and it is quite the masterpiece, <laughs> wouldn't you say? 
So time to try it out. And it works. At this point, I was debating whether to cover the lights or not. I had special ordered some rice paper because I thought that might be cool, so I'm testing out strips of that as well as regular paper. Remember, the lights are inset in the groove, so they wouldn't be touching the paper. There's space in between. But then as I was looking at it, I really didn't mind the individual lights showing, so I decided to leave it alone. To finish the boxes, I added some de-wax shellac that I just put on really thinly with a rag. Then it was time to bring the whole shebang inside, and I'm attaching this right next to my front door. Here the white board is screwed into the wall, so testing it out, and it is super bright. <laughs> a little too bright, in fact. So then I went back to my original idea to cover the lights up a little bit. I actually ended up using regular white hardstock that I'm cutting into thin strips. And then I'm using decoupage to attach them right over the lights. Once glued down, I also added like two coats of decoupage on top of the paper to give it some protection. But it was pretty nice and stiff, which was nice because I was afraid the rice paper was going to be way too thin and maybe like break through. And I think the paper here really added a nice touch and also brought down the light level a little bit, so that was perfect. It's quite amazing how much light um, these lights are put off. This is kind of bright right now, I have another light coming at me. Um, but they really shine up this wall tremendously. There's a couple of things that I really like about this project. Um, first of all, I really like how these boxes are on the backboard, how they're attached to that. Because that way I don't have to, first of all, think about securing each box individually to the wall. You know, I can just think about attaching the whole board into the studs, so that makes it a lot easier. And then I can also just hide all the wires in the back of it, and it just makes it so much neater. Not to mention having a switch like this, which controls all three of them. Yeah, I just love that concept. I guess another thing too was the cover for these lights. I wasn't going to have one cover because I tried it in the shop and I didn't really think it was necessary. But then after putting this up here and I sat down in the chair and I was like, oh, it's kind of in my eyes. I thought it was a little too strong. So that's when I did that. And I'm very happy I did that because I think it added such a clean and finished look. And it was really simple to do as well. So it was just kind of a nice finishing step. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you like this general project? Um, would you have done something differently? Uh, yeah, share in the comments. Uh, and that's always interesting to read. Okay, now I want to thank Squarespace. They're the sponsor of this video and I am so happy about that because I've been using their system for quite a while now and yeah. I'm a fan. <laughs> Let me tell you, they make it really easy to create a beautiful and sleek website or blog or online store. They have lots of great templates you can use which will make your website look like, yeah, like you hired someone and had them design something just for you, when really, no, you did it all yourself and it was super easy. I also really like their interface, especially when running an online store. It's awesome for keeping track of inventory and all that stuff. So if you are looking for a new site, maybe somewhere to showcase your projects or sell something, then definitely check them out. They offer 24-7 customer support, and if you use the code DARPIN, you'll get 10% off. Isn't that cool? So check out the link in the description below to start your free trial, or go to squarespace.com slash DARPINORVER. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And like I said, let me know what you guys uh, think about this project. Um, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.